Anne Arundel County has an ancient secret at the Jug Bay Wetland Sanctuary, a secret that archaeologists working with the county's Cultural Resources Division have been slowly exposing on the shores of the Patuxent River since 2015. Led by professional archaeologists Stephanie Sperling, Archaeological Research Director for the county, and Jane Cox, Chief of the Cultural Resources Division, their team, which includes professional archaeological consultants, student interns, and citizen volunteers, has uncovered a prehistoric village at a site we call River Farm. And the work is revealing forgotten stories of a Native American village that spans dozens of acres and thousands of years. The team has spent two seasons painstakingly uncovering artifacts like stone tools, projectile points, burnt animal and fish bones, oyster shells, and pottery shards. They have found the exact location where Native Americans lived and worked along the shores of the Patuxent River for centuries. In one spot, archaeologists identified an area where people harvested fish and processed plants around 500 BC. In another area, they found evidence for a large building that stood 1,000 years ago, surrounded by ritual items. They also found the remains of a huge beachfront bonfire that people gathered around in the 13th century. All of these findings tell the story of a robust community that once flourished here. As they left no written records, these fragments of material culture are the only clues that survive to reveal the forgotten stories of our county's earliest inhabitants and their lifeways. What did they eat? How did they hunt? What did their houses look like? With whom did they trade? And what did they wear? With careful analysis, the archaeologists and their support team of trained volunteers and student interns are beginning to answer these questions. New information about social structures, mortuary practices, and familial relationships is also coming into focus. Stephanie Sperling, who has been working on archaeological sites in Anne Arundel County for more than 15 years, serves as the principal investigator at River Farm. As her research continues, the national significance of this site has become clear. We came here on a winter day in 2009 and walked on the beach and found more prehistoric, more Native American artifacts on the beach than we could hold in our hands. Pottery and stone tools and, uh, and axes and, and decorative, decorative elements like uh, gorgets, they're called. Um, and so I knew at that point that this was a really important site. Uh, here in uh, the Jug Bay area, we know that there are something like 25 to 30 previously recorded Native American sites, and those sites span about 10,000 years of human history. And we know that people have been living here around Jug Bay for 10,000 years because of the Pig Point site. Pig Point is located about one mile up the river from where we are right now. We dug there from 2009 to 2014, and we found that it is one of the most significant sites certainly in the Chesapeake and probably on the entire East Coast. It is truly redefining the way that archaeologists understand Native American history. The River Farm investigations and six years of previous work at the nearby Pig Point site have been spearheaded by Anne Arundel County's Cultural Resources Division, which was established in the 1980s to ensure that public and privately owned historic and archaeological sites across the county would be protected, studied, and preserved for future generations. With more than 1,600 archaeological sites, the county has worked hard to record and preserve our history. So at the Pig Point site, we had different activity areas we found. Uh, there was one part of the site where we had uh, ritualistic feasting three foot thick. Think of a, a campsite that you come back to for thousands and thousands of years. It's full of um, the stuff that you're eating, like the, all of the animals that you can find here in Jug Bay today people were eating. The fish, the shellfish, the birds, the mammals, the turtles, the snakes. And we also found weird stuff like bear and bobcat in there too. Um, in addition to just hundreds of pieces of prehistoric pottery and stone tools. Um, we also found the area that people were living, overlapping post hole patterns going back thousands of years, and a Native American burial complex that dates to about 280 to 200 BC. The remains of hundreds of individuals and five pits 
20 feet across by seven feet deep. This is a secondary burial. So somebody dies someplace else and you bring their bones back here to, for their final interment. But all the bones were smashed and they were found alongside artifacts from Ohio and Michigan from very far away. So really weird stuff is going on here. This was a real locus of, of activity for a long, long time. So after we dug at Pig Point for six years, we wanted to expand our vision. We wanted to, to go outside the Pig Point and try to understand the Pig Point complex because if Pig Point is of national significance, what else is going on around it? So to that end, we have dug now several sites here in the Jug Bay area, but we've been at River Farm for the last two years, and this is a site that just does not fail to impress. I mean, it uh, has, we found occupation, we're on a 1,300 foot long floodplain here and the, on the banks of the, of the Patuxet River. We have occupation from one side to the other. Uh, here on the floodplain, we know we have occupation going back at least 5,000 years, but we found artifacts predating that going back to eight or 9,000 years, but they probably washed down from upslope. So we've also kind of poked around upslope, but almost all of our focus here at River Farm has been in the floodplain itself. Archaeology is labor and time intensive, and the discoveries Sperling describes would not be possible without the assistance of volunteers and students. The program offers volunteers a chance to participate fully in field excavations and in artifact processing and analysis in the Anne Arundel County Archaeology Lab. Student interns get college credit as they gain real-world experience and prepare for their own careers in archaeology and historic preservation. When I first started here as a volunteer uh, working at the Jug Bay site, um, I was aware that there was a, an archaeology program in the county. When I would visit the credit union, I would saw the display um, there with all the artifacts from London Town. At that point, I became familiar with the face of art. Welcome back. <laughs> um, I was aware of it, and I had also read articles in the newspaper covering the actual Pig Point digs. Um, so it was very interesting to me once I began the internship to go back and dig out all of my newspaper clippings because I'd saved them. I'd always been very interested in what was happening in an area that um, I thought I would go into as a young person. I didn't end up going into that area of study and I'm an attorney by trade so um, without much free time I never had a, an opportunity to participate on such a venture to to do archaeology in my own county. I'm, I'm hooked on doing this sort of volunteering as well. So I, I've been assured that there are many opportunities to join in digs without waiting for the once yearly dig, which is how I began. I have been involved in archaeology for two months now, and I found out about this dig and archaeology actually through my neighborhood's newsletter. So they mentioned that they were doing the dig down here and I've always been interested in archaeology so I decided to come out and try it and it's kind of how it all started. <laughs> I could definitely envision myself doing more with archaeology. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed seeing the entire process from picking out artifacts on the screen to seeing them go through the lab. And I think it's great to like watch the volunteers have fun with it and just really enjoy like the whole portion. It's just really great to see all of it. So yeah, I'd love to do it more and get more of that. <laughs> the archeological discoveries at River Farm are exciting and the team will continue to work closely with Jug Bay Wetland Sanctuary in the coming years. Led by Park Superintendent, Dr. Patty Delgado, we are developing interdisciplinary programs and research projects that will help connect the cultural heritage of the park with its rich natural history. We are also excited to explore partnerships with local school programs to bring archaeological research to our youngest scholars and to help children more fully appreciate and respect the rich history that is hiding in their very own backyards. Anne Arundel County is fortunate to have an active public history program and we offer opportunities throughout the year for the public to get involved. We invite you to join us for upcoming workshops, events, and programs to learn more about the archaeological process and why archaeological sites matter. We hope you can help the Cultural Resources Division and the Lost Towns Project protect and study the county's most important historic resources and archaeological sites. 
I think it's important to protect the archaeological sites because really this is a part of Maryland's heritage. I think maybe it's a part that we don't talk about as much. You know, we think of history, the written history that we have, but the prehistory is also so important and to conserve it and make sure that it's there for other generations to enjoy and other people to learn about is, you know, incredibly valuable. One of the most interesting things I've learned during my experiences here is not really what the item is, but teaching myself to ask the question, why is this here? What does this object mean situated amongst other objects? Um, to think about how it was used, what, for what purpose it was, what use could this have had? You know, make the connections um, across the years of history. If you would like to learn more about the county's cultural resources program and its partnership with the Lost Towns Project, please visit our websites. We hope to see you soon at an upcoming workshop, attending a lecture, or as a volunteer in the field or the lab. Thank you.